Okay, so the RTF function, which is return to home. I just wanted to make a quick, simple video about this. Nothing too complicated. Basically, I have a pre-flight checklist and it pretty much revolves just around the return to home feature. So, yours may vary. You may want one, you may not want one. Here's what I have on mine. You gotta make sure all your devices are charged. Your phone, your remote, and the battery for your quadcopter. You gotta wait for the GPS signal, and then you have to check for the GPS signal, and it'll say ready to go GPS here. You also wanna wait for it to <coughs> record the home point. Now the last thing is, in order for your return to home to work, it'll work, but in order to not hit anything, you're going to have to set the return to home height. I'll show you guys that in another video, but basically you want to set your height for the area that you're flying in. If you don't, um, pretty much everything else cancels itself out. If you don't have GPS, nothing else will work for you. If your devices aren't charged, it's not going to work for you either. So every single one of these things is crucial and you have to do this. <clears throat> Now, there's three different types of return to home features here. What you got is the smart return to home. So you can either tap this button, which is the H inside the circle with the arrow above it. That'll return it to home. Uh, one thing to note here, if you're within a 65 foot radius or 65 feet height wise it's going to land wherever it's currently at um, so you have to be outside of 65 feet in order for this thing to actually climb to the correct height come back and then land at its home point <clears throat> now um back to the smart rth if you don't have your smart device connected up or you lost signal to the smart device or whatever the case is you can do it manually with the remote which is always good you can toggle the S2 switch, which would be this guy here. The S2 switch, you want to toggle it more than twice. And then you can kind of hear this thing beeping. So it's in smart return to home, but obviously it's already landed. Now, um, <clears throat> you can steer the aircraft around obstacles. If you can tell that you're going to hit an obstacle and you need to cancel this, you have to know that you either tap the H inside the circle with the arrow above it or you're going to have to toggle the S1 switch. And you'll notice this is going to stop beeping as soon as I toggle the S1 switch. Okay, so it stopped beeping. Therefore, it canceled the return to home, the smart return to home. So the next version of return to home is the low battery. It's going to give you a warning and if you don't do anything after 10 seconds or so, it's gonna automatically return to home. But if you decide to cancel the return to home, you're taking a risk on not being able to get it back home. It'll have to land in its current location if you run the battery too low. Now, um, like I said before, it's gonna prompt you to return to home. So when it does that, you want to let it return to home. <clears throat> in order to terminate that for example if you're going to hit an obstacle or whatever the case is same thing toggle the s1 switch or tap the h inside the circle with the arrow above it the final and last uh return to home feature is a fail safe return to home basically this is triggered when the signal is lost to the to the drone for more than three seconds and um in order for any of these return to home features to work, you have to have GPS and you also have to have the home point set. If you don't have the home point set, it's not gonna be able to return to home. So you gotta make sure you do that. Um, <clears throat> now, when it's in fail safe, obviously once it gets close enough, if your remote is still on, you don't want to touch any of the controls. If you hit the up throttle, it's going to actually go ahead, stay at its current um, altitude, which 
may be bad because if it's lower than your set return to home altitude, it may hit a tree or building or something. So what you want to do is just leave it alone and uh, it should return home for you. And um, obviously if your controller is dead or something else like that, it should just return home and land for you if you have the home point set with the GPS and all that. So hopefully this helps you guys out.